Well, hello there, smart and amazing people. We are going to talk about something I guess will piss off a lot of fucking people, but I think it's really, really interesting and it's a good way of opening one's eyes for other uh, possibilities. So, a lot of people say they like us because it's highly customizable, it's really, really bare minimum. You get to, to choose what you install. I am going to show you guys right now that you can do... I would say almost, if not ex the exact same thing with OpenSUSE Tumbleweed or Leap. And I know a lot of you guys out there will right now say, oh my fucking God, what are you talking about? So if you follow the Arch Linux install guide, what it gives you is an installation guide on how to set up Arch up till a CLI boot environment, meaning that you're booting into basically the terminal. So when you're done, at Arch Linux install. Well, I can actually do this. This is what you're greeted with. This is in quote what the Arch, or not in quote, but this is what the Arch Linux is about to get you to this point. Ubuntu can get you to this point. Uh, I think Fedora can get you to this point. Tumbleweed and Leap uh, or OpenSUSE can definitely get you to this. It's just not in in a way that you think it is. So so let's let's dive into it. I, I need to reboot because. We are going to install OpenSUSE or Tumbleweed. So I will see you guys in a bit ski. So we are booting up the installation here and I will just go into the good old installation. And I will try to do this installation as, as fast as possible, but it, I will be talking quite a lot. So I hope you guys can bear with me with that, but I hope you get the idea that I'm trying to convey here. I'm not saying you should not install arts. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there are other opportunities. There's other possibilities out there that that if you want a flexible, customizable system, you are not limited to Arts, Gen2, or Linux from scratch and distributions like that. You have options, but you can almost do the exact same thing within this installer environment that you can do with the Arts Linux install guide. The only difference is that here you click next and you tick some boxes where in the Arts Linux install guide, you have to type in the terminal. Here you get handhold a little bit. With Arts, you have to type everything in manually. So. Keyboard layout, I will just go with Danish because I have a Danish key. Again, you see this this part here, you do via the command line in Arts. And because this is a graphical environment, the, the, the steps on how you do it on Arts versus here is different. So under Arts, you will boot into the CD. You will now be basically partitioning your Arts installed and you will be setting up partitions and file systems and choosing software and stuff like that. And then I think uh, basically changing the keyboard layout is like in the middle of the installation or at the end, you can also do it in the beginning. It all depends on how you, you do it. But if you follow the guide, I think it's like, it's not early on as it is here. And here we are setting up repositories and it, it I, I use the net installer and it, that's why it takes some time. So you now think, well, oh my God, I only have the choice between Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, generic desktop, which if, is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, ice VM server and traditional server. The easiest way to get to, you know, a CLI boot in, you know, basically that what you get with after you're done the arts install is to take a server. A small set of packages is suitable for servers with text mode interface. You can also go down here and uh, like the server role, but use, yeah, so this is like a read only file system. So you, you would probably take server. You will click next. Again, under Arts, we will have been doing this via the command line. So now you see this. Now we can go in and set up the partitions. And this is something, again, you probably would have been doing under Arts in the beginning. We just do it here as step number two, three, or four, or something like that. So I, I don't really like the BTI uh, file system for my uh, home use, uh, my home system. I like it as a server file system. So. I would just format that to ext4. Again, I do this with the convenience and help and guides of a GUI. You can do that in the command line under arts. It's basically no different. If you want to type it in, you type it in. Uh, yeah, let's just say yes, this, this should work. So we click next. So now it's getting, uh, it's refreshing the repositories. It's, it's synchronizing the base, basically populating our software. So we click up here, we click Denmark, we click next. Again, I think you set this up later in the art system. 
This here you also set up later in the Arch Linux install process here. We just do it earlier. Uh, yep, let's just keep that. Click next. Yeah, let's just use the free password. And here, this is now where you start to customize your system. Because most people, they don't think about that you can actually customize your system right now. They just think, okay, this is it. Let's get out of this. Let's click install and Bob's your uncle. But you can click on all of these things here. If you don't want to write it to the bootloader, you can do that. What we are interested in is the software up here. Default target mode, text mode. You can go in here and do hardware settings. You can do CPU mitigation. You can disable enable a firewall, SSH, and all of these things that you do here with point and click on the arts. You're just doing it in the command line. Again, different strokes for different folks. But again, we are interested in the software. Now we can now enable, disable whatever we want and get the bare minimum that we want. So software management, of course, we need that. The YAST server utilities, we don't really need that, to be honest. We don't really need the, the YAST base utility. We don't really need app armor if we don't want that. We don't even need the enhanced base system if we don't want that. You can even, even click in here. So here you can you can even get in here and, and do a collection of games and whatnot. And you can click details down here. Now you can go even further in and click on. So if we take app armor here. So I just deselected YAST, didn't I? So I don't really need this here. I don't need the YAST app armor. If I click on it, enhanced base system, I can take away things I don't need. I may not need base, you know, patent space documentation. I may not need the Perl base. I may not need, you know, XZ. I may not need VGET or double VGET, sorry. I may not need tuned. I may not need time zone. You know, you basically just take away things here. So the the big difference, I think, is that on the Arch Linux in the command line, you add things you want. In OpenSUSE, you take things away you don't want. So it, 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 you get the same end results. You're just going about it in different ways. But I, I don't want to go in here and take as uh, you know things away much more than I already done to basically showcase this one. Click accept. It's telling us what it's going to install. And of course, it's going to install a lot of packages because I have to go in and fine tune this selection here. We'll just click continue. But you get the idea. We are now going to basically have an install that's 1.3 gigabytes big. And now it wants us to reboot. So let's see if I didn't have done this correctly because it, it did uh, yell and scream about us with the partition about a boot partition so here we are oh did i type in the password wrong i did it's not easy having fat fingers oh shit, we don't have htop installed so this is kind of like where you you now on the arts if you install arts the arts way will start to install graphical environments and stuff like that after your first boot and what have you not see this as a an idea that if you want the arts experience, you don't need to run arts. When I say the arts experience, I mean you want total control over your system. I showed you under the installation that you can basically deselect everything and only having crop, the kernel, and the, the TNU libraries installed if you want to. See you all later. Bye bye.